<sighs> Welcome to an all-new Lay It Omni. Allow me to lay it on you. Hello and salutations, fellow users of our new dystopian universe. This is your Captain Omni speaking. Yesterday, me and Chase, we were preparing for our inevitable cyberpunk future. You know, casually reading Orwell's 1984, binging Ghost in the Shell, The Matrix, and Black Mirror episodes, and of course, replaying the classic Metal Gear Solid 2 for my 14th time. Lolly Lule Lo. Lolly Lule Lo. Lolly Lule Lo. And while doing that, I think I accidentally figured out the answer to one of our problems. You know, the whole government trying to control our every move. On the internet type problem? What if none of it matters? What if the internet is already dead? As absurd as that sounds, humor me for a little bit because I think that it actually might be what's happening. I came across this tweet on Twitter yesterday that was trending worldwide that said, bots now account for over half of global internet traffic. Naturally, I had to check the replies and guys, I kid you freaking not. Almost every single response was a blue check mark bot spitting out textbook chat GPT answers. I know it can't be me, okay? Have you guys literally noticed this infestation on the internet. On Reddit, you've got karma farming bots leaving these generic replies just to gain enough credibility to sell you some product or app later. Even in my own comments, I see bots with these like random thirst trap avatars posting stuff like, hey daddy, click my link for free Robux. And even worse, and guys, please tell me if this is something that you're experiencing or not. But have you guys noticed that like actual real life human beings are kind of starting to act like bots now? People are literally filtering their authentic thoughts through AI before actually talking to another human. Like, babe, ChatGPT says you're being unreasonable and probably have undiagnosed BPD. Well, my ChatGPT says you're a narcissist and here are 10 reasons why. So in today's video, we're going to do three things. We're going to break down this worldwide claim that bots apparently make up half the internet. We're going to do a little dive into what's known as the dead internet theory and what it actually is. And at the end, we'll talk a little bit how AI filtered humans might be the weirdest and creepiest part of this whole freaking story. I already showed you the Elgato, so you got to drop the like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are enjoying the series and you guys know the drill sit back relax put your feet up and yeah allow me to lay it on you so what exactly is the dead internet theory the dead internet theory is a concept that popped up around 2021 mostly on 4chan and other conspiracy forums the theory says that most of the content that you and i see right now you know like tweets or reddit posts or youtube comments and even entire websites isn't made by people anymore it's essentially all bots ai generated filler designed to keep us scrolling to push certain narratives and to make us think that there's still a living breathing online community out there the core idea is essentially that human activity on the internet apparently peaked several years ago. After that, corporations and governments basically flooded the web with automated content to control conversations, test social engineering, and just make sure that nobody noticed the silence. Think about it like this, okay? You go to New York City or you live in New York City and you go to Times Square, okay, where there's a whole bunch of people and you look around and like, man, this is pretty cool seeing all of these people. But in reality, none of these people are real. It's actually empty and you're surrounded by cardboard cutouts that nod and wave at you. The LDR, you're playing an actual video game. Okay, some of the people are main characters, or you talk to them, they're real people like breathing you and I, but a lot of them are NPCs and bots that are literally just designed to help you to move around the video game. They guide you to go into the places you need to be, okay? <laughs> That's the concept. Now, all of it sounds crazy, okay? It's an interesting theory. I don't think I subscribe to all of it, but I do feel like there is a little bit of evidence that points to it that both you and I can agree on. Because like I said earlier, I think we're kind of already experiencing it. First, the stat that kicked off this video, bots now account for over half of global internet traffic. Literally a report written by Fortune Magazine and also reported in other places as well. On Twitter, which I refuse to call X if you guys still go there, every trending post is literally flooded with blue checkbots replying with the exact same chat GPT sound takes. On Reddit, you've got karma farming bots creating those perfect threads or perfect replies. Then after they get enough karma, they start selling you a product or a book or some app. And on YouTube, oh my god, guys, it's absolutely terrifying the AI slop that is basically everywhere on the internet. There are hundreds of thousands of YouTube channels that are popping up that are not even real people. The audio is AI, the script is AI, the editing is AI. All of it is a freaking prop. And the worst of it, and I've been kind of navigating this and researching this and trying to figure out what's happening is that some of it is actually like good advice like some of it is actually decent useful information that you can use which gives me a lot of conflicting feeling i literally came across this one video it was about stoicism or motivational advice or whatever and it was literally the narrator was denzel washington <laughs> 
Denzel Washington in the big 2025 giving people like advice about like emotional sovereignty and 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 how to kind of live a fruitful life right I came across this video it had hundreds of thousands of views on it and the comments were also filled with bots but also a lot of people who don't realize that this entire video is not Denzel Washington <laughs> And they kind of did like the video and it also made a difference in their lives and it sounded so realistic and it had almost all of his mannerism and there's more like it they have AI copying the voice of people like Morgan Freeman telling stories talking about things and <laughs> It's a mess out there. So that's the TLDR of the dead internet theory. We can make an entire deep dive on that, okay? That's just kind of like the surface. But personally, what I think is more terrifying than like NPCs and bots flooding the internet is actual real life human beings cosplaying as AI. If you think about it, there are hundreds of thousands of people right now who are literally running their authentic thoughts through AI before sending a text, sending an email, posting or lying, or even talking to their own partner. We're literally having AI mediated arguments, guys. Two language models beefing while the humans sit on the sidelines. To me, this is so dangerous because now ChatGPT and AI is not just being used as a tool. It's literally becoming a part of people's actual personas and identity. And it's extremely freaking dangerous, especially for people with like fragile minds or people who are very gullible, okay? Because ChatGPT, I don't know if you guys heard about this. There's a sensation going on where people are falling into something called a chat GPT induced psychosis. It's this thing where people get so lost into the chat GPT sauce that their minds become warped and influenced by the feedback chat GPT gives them. They then begin spiraling in these spiritual quote unquote enlightenments that completely detach their sense of selves from the world. Because the tool in AI is just way too powerful, but it's also a freaking ass kisser, okay? I don't know if you guys have used it or know people who are using it, right? But chat GPT and almost all these other AI algorithms okay they're designed to basically just to tell you that you're right <laughs> they do their best to reinforce the ideologies that you already have and gas you up and make you feel good and make you feel special and make you feel right and if you keep using that kind of narration and going down some of these tunnel holes people become very self-absorbed and almost to the point where they become detached from themselves so not only is the internet being plagued with bots but humans themselves are also becoming bots and i don't know about you guys but that's why it feels so dystopian recently i've been sitting back right and examining where we've come from, where we are now, and where we're headed, and I think where we're going is a very, really weird and authentic place. I pride myself into being able to tell like what's real or fake on the internet, okay? I came in during the age of the internet where everybody was real, all right? This is before bots could be put into the place, before they even came in, and I can tell that everybody here was just organic users. But now, and I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I feel like I'm starting to doubt my ability to tell what is actually real on the internet now. I, I've been caught by some AI. Some of the videos I've been like, oh, I've been, been second guessing it. Some of the bots, some of the people I'm starting to recognize is less organic than I originally thought. So if I'm struggling, then I know very well that these 50 year old, 60 year old boomers are getting absolutely cooked on Facebook. I know it doesn't quite feel like we're in a dystopian future, probably because we're not like quite literally in what we see in these TV shows, anime and movies. Where buildings are like billions of feet in the air and we're zooming around in hover cars. But I kind of feel like we're getting there. We got self-driving cars. We got advanced AI facial recognition that's trying to get stronger stronger by you guessed it, scanning our faces on Spotify and YouTube. We're moving in that direction and I don't think these shows or movies are fantasy anymore. I think they're ahead of the time and it's just basically prophetic in nature. Just like Orwell's popular book 1984 that everybody's talking about. And I do think that in another 1000 years, if this planet still exists, we will probably be closer to looking like a Ghost in the Shell movie than not. That's just a theory. <laughs> a dead internet theory. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode of Laid Omni. You've just been laid. Moral of the story. Touch grass, literally, okay? <laughs> I feel like as time moves forward, the need for like legit authentic experiences that AI can't really replicate or tamper with will become an increasing commodity. Embracing nature or having like one-on-one -on -one, non-filtered human interactions, etc. So yeah, as time goes by, I think it's gonna be very easy for us to get lost in this new cyber sauce. I don't think we're prepared for it and we're gonna be going there. We're raw dogging AI. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be kind of wild. Keep yourself grounded. One of the biggest things I'm worried about is mental health. I feel like people people's mental health are not prepared for what we're about to encounter and I'm you know I'm sitting here rapping with you guys so that we can be ahead of it okay so that we can <laughs> be ahead of the game before the game hits us let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below I'll catch you guys later y'all take it easy brush your teeth and peace